love this thing. Jack, would you like to make a statement to Congress on what you think Congress should do? It's nice that it works in Anbar. Too bad it doesn't work anywhere else. Let's not forget why we're there. 9-11 was not about Iraq. Iraq is not about 9-11. Bring them home. Get off your lazy rear end. Do something like stop a war. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> What message would you like to send to Congress on this day? On this day, it's the six year anniversary of 9-11. And yet we do nothing to help our military men and women over there to bring them home safely. And when they do come home, it's usually in a body bag or they're severely injured. And we don't do anything to help them with their health care afterwards. They get put in a really bad you know, hospital and they get treated like you know a third they're in a third world country. Yet we uh, will capture terrorists and send them down to Guantanamo Bay and um, you know give them free health care. Now where is the irony in that? We need to take a do something. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. Okay, health care, not warfare. A fraction of what we spend over there in Iraq is going to provide a national health care for every single American. And we have not done that. Everybody is welcome to join this peace rally. And don't forget to get information about the buses going to Chicago October 27th. There are going to be regional demonstrations all over the country. And our region is Chicago. So sign up now. Stand up for peace. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Make sure that you have a way to be contacted. We have little orange pieces of paper which Judith is passing around and we will make sure that you're notified. There are several events in the planning. So thank you for coming. We can't we counted around 140 or 150 people and this is a wonderful showing and we will be back here, we are sure, to stand up for peace and we will be here until 6.30 tonight. The messages are wonderful. Out now. Troops home now. No war on Iran. Support our troops. Peace. Bring them home now. Military moms for peace. Out of Iran. Home for peace. No funding the war. No war. What message would you have for Congress today on this uh, day? What I'd like to say is, I understand some people don't think that we should be here today on 9-11. But the President used 9-11 to win an election and to sell us on a war that we never should have been into. So we have every reason to be here today to try to stop it. Is there a message for Congress that you'd like to send? You know, I have a grandson who's going to be 14 this month, and I saw a lot of guys go over the many years of the Vietnam War. I do not want to see another generation of my family. My son was in the Gulf War. My husband was in Vietnam. I do not want my grandson. No. Stop the war. It's not working. What message would you have for Congress today? I would like to 
Now, do you think this is going to make a difference? Do you think they'll listen? What we're doing today, we keep on doing it. We keep getting more and more people who believe in it to do it. I think they're going to listen eventually, hopefully, before too many more people are killed. What about you two? Would you like to say anything to Congress, Carl Levin? What about Carl Levin, though? What? A strong Carl Levin supporter, and that's a savvy guy, and in his position on the Armed Forces Committee, I know that he is working as hard as he can to make the right things happen here. He knows, he knows the facts and the ways that this can be approached and get passed in Congress. I'm counting on him. We all have to count on our elected officials to speak for us and to know what we want. Now you have Representative Mike Rogers representing this district? I do not, fortunately. You do not? Who's I, your congressman? I live, well, it's actually that Mark Wahlberg guy. Wahlberg? Tim. Yeah, I never, Mark Wahlberg's the really attractive movie star guy. That's not Tim. <laughs> well, what message for Tim and what should Tim you know, Wahlberg do? Tim Wahlberg is very, um, he's very absent from any connection with my value system. He's identified as demographic in, in Eaton County, and me and other people like me are not it. So I feel disenfranchised by my representation. So I look to my senator, Carl Levin. That's the end of my comment. Thank you. I, I have something I want to say to sure. Tim Wahlberg. Sure. And I always say this to Tim Wahlberg in all of my emails. Tim, what would Jesus do? That's what I want to ask him. Thank you. Would you like to make a statement on this 9-11, on the date 9-11 for, for Congress? What message would you send to Congress? Congress needs to end the war in Iraq. They need to stop funding the war in Iraq. Would you like to make a statement on camera? Do you feel comfortable with where we're at with Iraq? No, I don't feel comfortable. I feel completely discouraged. We'll never, it feels as if we'll never be able to get out. Petraeus refuses or is unable to say what we will. Very discouraging. Now about 10 after 6 and we are, the speed rally is going to go to 6.30 and at the end we'll make our circle and we thank everybody for coming. This is a difficult day. We don't want any more 9-11 and we would like us to be out of Iraq and not go to war like Iran. Anybody is welcome to join. Keep hearing you. Okay, we're in the corner getting Eric Hughes, and among those few are Dick Cheney and George Bush. These people are getting a great deal of money as well as a sense of, I suppose, intoxication and power. But this war is going to cost us and our children and our grandchildren forever. We have got to get out. We have got to get fit and we've 